Hey everybody, it's JR here, the driveway engineer, and we're out today looking at new project vehicles. Um, so I found a sweet Bronco. We were going to, uh, Peanut's so excited he's got to drag his weenie on the ground. Anyway, we were going to look at an Olds 98. And my wife saw this on the side of the road here. Because I pointed out that if I keep buying Chevys, people will think that uh, I just only like Chevys. So, you know, maybe I should do a Ford. This is pretty cool. And it's a four-speed which is even cooler. Uh, anyway, I was going to look at an Olds 98. I found a Tahoe, GMT 400 two-door Tahoe that I was actually kind of interested in because I've always wanted a solid axle swap a Tahoe. And, uh, oh, straight six, sweet. So this will be a 300 straight six. Um, like I said, we're going to look at a Tahoe and uh, Olds 98 today. The 98, so if you don't know, it's a big beast of a truck. They got this cleverly engineered here. Um, the 98 is a big beast of a car, like a Impala size. This doesn't have a tilt wheel, that kind of sucks. So I was thinking I'd slap an LS in that and drive it around. Um, <laughs> that's vintage Kenwood. Sweet. Uh, but yeah, this Bronco's pretty cool. It's also pretty rusty. And uh, don't spray foam the rust, people. Because it'll just... It's not going to stop it. There's a lot of spray foam in there. The frame is like, whenever you see something this rusty, if you're from the north, if you're not from the north, you're probably horrified by this. But if you're from the north, you know, you need to check. See that flaking off? That is the outer layer of metal. Um, this thing's pretty rust, pretty rough. It doesn't seem like it's unsalvageable yet. It is new enough that it has an 8.8 .8 rear end. I can tell because I can see the cover. So it must be like an 85, 86. That's the style of front clip it has on it. It's got these sweet hubcaps. Let's check this out. Yeah, that gas tank is uh, garbage. Whole thing's pretty garbage. Brakes are probably locked up. Man. Excuse my camera angles here. I really need to check this frame out pretty, pretty well. <sighs> Surprisingly, the shackle mount hasn't let go. That's a problem on a lot of these Fords is the shackle mount will bust. And then your leaf spring will be sitting on the floorboard. Which in this case, there's not much of a floorboard to sit on. And there we are inside the vehicle. This thing's pretty rough. Which is a shame because it's pretty cool. I dig it. I don't think that uh, it's destined for much more than life as a trail rig though. Man. This is bumming me out. Yeah, see, that's that spray foam somebody put in there. Not good. Overall, the frame is, you got a lot of scale. But, uh, I'm not seeing anywhere where I can actually poke through it. Hold on, I got my knife. Let me see here. crap 
it's just raining down. But it's not. The body's absolute garbage on this thing. That really sucks. It's got really cool patina. E5 and Ford Speed E is for the decade, which would be 80, and 5 is the model year. So it's the 85. I wasn't sure that they started doing 8.8s that soon, but I guess they did. I thought it was 83 or 84. It's got a ton of boogered up wires. Overall, it's a real POS. Change oil at 41,600. I think they got it. What do you think? It's up to you. I think it's a pile of poop, but it's cool. Yeah. This body's garbage, though. Like, real garbage. I don't even know what, uh, what panels they make for it. I think if we bought this, I would just go down south and find another body for it. Like, it's not even worth... We can drive it around, though. Uh, would it make a good trail truck? Yeah. What do you think, Peanut? You want to go in it? Peanut wants to go. I don't know. We'll see. For some reason, there's another grill back here that does not fit this Bronco, but whatever. I don't know. This is kind of cool. We'll go look at the olds. Maybe I'll put all these up and let the people decide. I mean, from right here, it's pretty cool. It's got cool hubcaps, cool patina. It's just, the floor's gone. All right, well, that's one possible project. Uh, we'll see. I'll check back in and show you guys this Oldsmobile, and we'll go from there, I guess. This is JR here with the driveway engineer again. I think we've uh, concluded our new project car search. I got a, uh, this is a 71 Olds 98, which means it's essentially a Impala with super cool taillights. So I just picked this up here from this pile of brush for 300 bucks and this factory cruise car he's got all the hubcaps the trunk extensions are not routed out of it uh you can fit at least three dead hookers in this trunk so that's cool peanut likes it it's got sweet tail fins um the interior on this car is just gorgeous. It's perfect. And you can fit at least one small child on that deck there. Look at that. It's got a clock in the back seat. That's classy. Uh, yeah, the carpet will clean up. It's got a little rust hole right here. I can probably patch that. Or not. Um... These doors even shut right. Body by Fisher. The guy's got the dash down in the down in his basement, but it's beautiful. The dash is beautiful. The door pan panels are beautiful. Um, the whole thing's pretty good. It's pretty sweet. I can get this beast of a hood up. There we go. Looks like it was a factory AC car. So that's pretty cool. That's peanuts. Oh, that's your dog? Yes. <laughs> on uh on all these GMs, this is a C body, B body, G body. 
they have all the holes for all the other because they just make this frame for like everybody so this is a Buick frame it's an old frame uh, Chevy frame whatever um, so by moving those mounts around you can drop whatever engine you want in it so getting in a uh, Getting an LS into it, it's not going to be any more difficult than uh, finding Chevy and Pala mounts. So that'll be pretty cool. It is an enormous, enormous car. How do you like your new car? I think it's pretty sweet. You going to drive it? I don't know. Maybe. How many turbos do you want to put on it? None. Seven. None. Four. None. The uh, vinyl roof on it's gone. I liked his metal flake idea though. Yeah, the guy we bought it from <laughs> wanted to metal flake it and lace it, which would be cool. I just want to put an engine in it and drive it the way it is because I think it's cool just like this. But we'll see. So that's it until next time this is jr the driveway engineer and stay tuned we'll have another project coming for you see ya <laughs>